Hey there, Santi here, and today I'm really happy to say that I already found my perfect heavy tracker that I'm gonna use long term, and it's just the best app for heavy tracking that I've ever found, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So the way it works is that you have habits on the left, and you have dates on the top. The current day is gonna be here, and what you can do is you can click every single day that you achieve something, right? So for instance, you'll see that in here already clicked not shaving my mustache, which I've been doing for 67 days. And what's awesome is that in here it shows you the current streak, and the longest streak that you had. So for instance, let's say that I gave up and just shaved the mustache on the 12th of April. I just lost my perfect streak, but I decided to keep trying it again since April 13, right? So you can see that my current streak is nine days. As you can see, it's this one's right here. But my longest streak was everything before that, which if we go further back, we can see till the point where it started, or we could even just click on this one and see how many days it's been happening for. For instance, for this habit of meditate, let's say that I didn't do it on this day, I can see that my longest streak was 19 days, but right now I'm on a streak of five days. If I move my face, you will see that here's a little slider where you can see more information. You can see during the week, how many days have you achieved it, during the month, how many days you've achieved it, and during the year. This is very nice way to visualize this, and you can also see the percentages based on week, month, and year. I just leave it on this one. This is the most useful one in my opinion, and that's how that works. Another great feature that I absolutely love about it is Praise Yourselves Dark Mode. It's great to have Dark Mode in this app. It just looks beautiful. And one of the cool things about every day is that, as you can see, there's a bit of a gradient of colors. The more you do something, the more the color changes over time, whether that is you building a habit or trying to quit it. So for instance, if we create a new habit, and I call it something like quit coffee. I don't drink coffee, so yeah success but <laughs> when i create this habit you can see that let's just say that we haven't drunk coffee any of these days like that and this habit goes from lighter to darker but because it's a quitting habit what we can do is we can click on this little pencil right here advanced options and we can click on break habit and now that inverts right so it goes from dark into lighter the more you break the habit the lighter the color gets it's a nice little thing to visualize what you're doing with your habits. Now, overall, the app is very simple, but as you can see, there's a couple of little triangles in here. What does that mean? Okay, so that means skip, meaning that you don't want to lose your current streak, but you skip that day. Say, for instance, that you journal every day, but you don't want to do it on weekends. So what you can do is you can skip the weekends, and that way you still keep your streak, because otherwise, if I just unmark this, now that means in here that you already lost your streak, that you've only been doing it for four days, but if you just want to say like, hey, I mean, it was intended for me to not do it on weekends, I can click twice and that's going to create a little triangle. And now my streak remains. So that is very handy. Um, I use that, for instance, in this habit that I have for going to the gym. I have it planned so that I go on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Every day in between, I just skip it, right? And that is how I intend to keep my streak. Because if, for instance, I just were to uncheck all of these ones, you would just see that I lost my streak, right? And I haven't been doing it. So these are the days that I plan to go. And in between, I just put the triangles. Double click or click twice, rather. And you create a skip box. And that helps you keep the current streak. A cool tip about this, particularly in cases where you know which days you're going to skip, you can actually go to the little pencil in here, advanced options, and you can decide which days are skips. As you can see, I only have the full box for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And in between, I just create this little triangle to know that it's a skip. And it says the app will automatically skip the days you specify, which is pretty handy. So now because today is Thursday, I already automatically had this triangle of skip in there. Now, I use every day in a couple of different ways. One is to keep perfect streaks of habits that I want to do every day, but I also have another way to use it, which is just to keep track of the last time I did something. So for instance, a haircut, I just want to see roughly how often I tend to get haircuts, both for budgeting and just for like making sure I do it. I can click on that particular habit. Here you can see a bit of the distribution of when was the last time that you did things. One thing I'd really like to see in the future is just to be able to see what dates this was, because right now it's just like a square in the calendar of the month, but I don't really know the date. In order to know the date, I would have to, well, I'm gonna put it up here so that it's easier, and then I would have to go back, and I can see 7 of April. That was the last time I did it. But it'd be nice to be able to in here see the exact date so that I can know it with more precision when was the last time I did something. Every day is not really meant for this purpose of keeping track of the last time you did something, but I use it for that as well, and it works well. I just wish you could really see the dates from this bigger view, which I think is overall a good feature to add to every day. 
So hopefully that's something that will happen in the future. Here I have a couple of other examples, maybe full sleep. You want to sleep eight hours. You just want to keep track of all the days that you've done it. And you can see how many days in a row this is made up. I just started clicking things. So I really haven't been able to keep track of this recently, but that's the idea. So that's how it works. And this is the web app, which works really well. But one of my favorite things about every day is that it works on mobile really well. I'm on Android phone and you can see this is a mobile version. You can see that if you scroll to the side, you're going to see all the current streak and the longest streaks and you can start checking off habits in the exact same way and it syncs super fast with the web version so just to give you an example i'm gonna check off the mustache habit and if we just go to the screen right here you're gonna see that the moment i click it there you go super fast same thing with another one i'm gonna check something check it super fast so that's awesome another cool thing about this app is that there's a widget, at least in Android, where you can just add it to your home screen and you can also check off habits, change them from here, which is also pretty handy. If you just click on the left side of that, you're gonna open the full screen. And if you click on any of the habits, you're gonna be able to see this fuller screen. So yeah, every day is really cool. You can also go to the website and if you go to devices, you can install the browser extension. I'm just gonna add it to Chrome right now. There you go. So now when I open a new tab, you're gonna see every day pop up. This is obviously optional. It's up to you if you want to do this every time, because every time you open a new tab, you're going to see your habits. Uh, I particularly like it when I record videos, I tend to deactivate this, but it's a really cool reminder of making sure that I, every single day I'm checking off habits. And if that's the first thing I, I see when I open my browser, it's very likely I'm going to see it. Great. So now that you have an understanding of how it works, let's definitely take a look at the main page and see the pricing, because that, of course, is going to be important if you're going to use this app or not. So there is a free version, but I do consider this free version more of a trial just so that you get familiar with the app to see if it's something that you want to use longer term, because it only lets you use up to three habits. So it's really more of a trial. That is the biggest limitation. Apart from that, you do have the ability to experiment with the different colors and limited data storage and the different apps. If you do decide to pay for it, you're going to be able to have unlimited habits, which is the biggest reason why you're paying, as well as dark mode, which is great, and a couple of extra features. So this is $2.5 per month built annually, meaning that you're going to have to pay annually, but this is what it ends up costing you every month, technically. So if we just do that math real quick, times 12 is going to be $30 for the whole year. And that I think is a really nice price. But if you do think that this is something that you want to use longer term, the lifetime plan is really generous because a lot of apps just charge you this for a year. Whereas, you know, the lifetime plan can just, you can just have this forever and not really have to worry about recurring payments in the future. So I think that's pretty generous. I think it's a nice pricing structure. Now, if you do want to give it a try, please make sure to use my affiliate link. I just contacted the creator, be like, hey, I love this app. I'm going to make a video. Can I have an affiliate link? So now I have it. So if you use that, you support my channel a little bit. You know, if you do decide to go for it, I do get a small percentage, not much. This video is not really sponsored. I decided to make this video by myself. And the only thing I'm getting is that small little commission. So yeah, definitely use the link if you want to support the channel, but no pressure. That's it. I'm using every day, literally every day. And I hope you do too. With that said, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye. I did cut my hair. See ya.